Hi Hill Avenue, welcome to Mr Smith's Sizzling Summer Spectacular Sports Series, Episode 2. So, what do all these images have in common? Have a think about it. Yeah, you've got it, it's all about speed. That need for speed, being as fast as you possibly can. If you were born up in the 80s, these two jokers, Rocky and Mick, would have you think that you could build speed by chasing chickens. Well today we're going to show you something far more effective. down and then about two foot distance we put another one down and we keep going until we've got eight socks down on the ground right there you go so I've now got eight socks on the ground okay now this creates my agility ladder let me speak before we warm up first so your first challenge is to find out how many different ways you can travel in and out this ladder. So I can jump between my steps. Go one way, I can do it backwards. Yep, I could go sideways. I could jump into sideways. Lots of different things I could do. How many different ways could you find what I could do? How many different ways could you find to go in and out of your ladder to warm up? Spend two minutes just doing that. We must get set go. Stop. Stop it there. So, if you're doing today's activity, it's the speed challenge inside, you probably only need four socks. So we put one down, take a step. Put another one down, take a step. Put another one down, take a step. So I've got four rungs to my ladder. Now I'm just gonna have a quick check of the environment to make sure this is anyone to on, tread on or break. And I've got enough room to make sure I don't hurt myself. Now it's a short ladder, but it doesn't matter because you score points in this challenge for every step you take. So that would be one point, two points, three points, four points. Okay, so if you're doing the speed challenge inside, to warm up, we can still do the same thing as outside. So how many different ways can I travel through the socks? So I could jump, that's one way, I could do it backwards, being careful where to go. I might be able to run straight through like I would for the test. For the challenge, I might go jump in and out. I could do a hopscotch. I could jump and spin. How many different ways can you come up with to warm up? So just two minutes. See how many different ways? I reckon I can come with at least 20. Can you beat 20 different ways? So I've got my 10 second timer at the ready to time me for the challenge. And then we'll see how many points I get at the end. Seconds, set, go. Yes! So this is my challenge scorecard. And as you can see, I missed out Thursday and Friday. So my score on Saturday was less than what I did before. So how do we score the speed challenge? Well, as I've said already, you get a point for every sock you travel past. Now, but it's a bit difficult to count whilst doing it, so we're gonna use this formula. So when I was outside, I did four laps, and I did eight so socks, so four times eight. Then I'm gonna add two, because there was two extra bits. So four times eight is 32, plus two is 34. So when I did this uh, challenge inside, let's have a see how that, that looks. So I did four full laps, 
there was four socks and I did two extra. So four times four is 16 plus the two equals 18. So on my chart, I've got my indoor score of 34 and my, so my outdoor score of 34 in green. I'm gonna put my indoor score of 18 in orange. Now indoors, you get a slightly lower score because you have to spend more time turning around. How will you do at this week's challenge? Will you be able to do a full seven days of the speed challenge? I'd love to find out. See you soon, Hill Avenue.